Today I'll be doing an LP of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Unless something happens to interrupt me. You're not forgetting about me, are you, me and Red? Or the Yahoo Khan? What? What is that? I'm the prequel to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm torn of the golden country. Normally I wouldn't listen to a game case, but hey, I had plans to do this uh, before. So welcome to instead of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2, it's prequel. Tora the Golden Country. And uh, before we do anything, Easy difficulty. Oh, good auto saves automatically disabled. Easy. So, sang along with all other Xenoblade Chronicle games. This the year was thirty five hundred and sixty four is mostly a blind one. Has sent an armed expedition against the country of Sia. Its capital Amranta fell overnight and sank beneath the clouds. I'll leave you with this cutscene. Dang it, I need the Joy-Cons on. <laughs> the Alliance was chiefly by Endor, and the emerging power of Mor Ardain. In fact, it had been the work of one blade, the Aegis, a man known as Namos. Said to be the architect's word incarnate. Back then, neither Laura nor myself knew how closely his fate would prove to be tied with ours. Do you have your popcorn with you by now? This is a very big cutscene. Then allow me to assist. Oh 
overall, this game is very cutscene heavy. Hopefully, it's more clearly visible. Besides of there being guards, I don't see how for the most part this is a sequel. To Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm gonna try collecting as much as I can as soon as I can. And to switch guard state, press down on the D-pad. I think I missed a quick time. I'm probably not gonna make it to level 4. Affinity. I think by now, the first auto save occurs. And uh, now that I'm out of the pure out tutorial fight, there's exploration to be had. To be honest, this is an LP before Xenoblade Chronicles 2, not just because it's the prequel. 
I mean seriously. I should have better thoughts than just thinking, hey, I should do an LP of something because it's a prequel. And it adds in a lot of stuff to the story. I don't do it for those reasons. I do it for other reasons. I do it for reasons of, for this one, I'm doing it because as uh, you always know, I tend to prefer giving the villains a mind. And you may or may not be playing as the villains of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Tour of the Golden Country. Yes, early on I'm probably gonna take on every single bolt of that stairs that to me. But that's because I feel defenseless at the moment. If you feel defenseless, would you want to not take on everything for the hope of it helping you out? That's what I do in games. Can to tell I'm a very big JRPG fan and the normal RPGs kind of aren't my specialty. As in stuff like a Metal Gear Solid. And stealth games. You're technically playing an RPG when you play games like those. But I don't quite consider. Consider games like that of the RPG genre. Possibly because I'm a big fan of JRPGs, aka the RPGs that breathe the life into games. Pokemon is a good example. And I don't want to press it. Plus. However, 
I'd say currently this is a good point to wrap up this video and end it mainly because I know there's a cutscene a couple steps ahead Yes, I've played some under my more private file. So, for now, what I have to say is remember to like, comment, and subscribe. But most of all, as always, Keep it joyful! And hopefully soon for me Christmas will be coming.